Yo, go subscribe, go get informed by Peter Nzeki, you know, bigger brother. I serve God and grant us to be here. We are not here by the nation. We are here in the Kuya, in the book of Isaiah. Nita Shasema, as thou not known, as thou not heard, that the everlasting God, the Lord, is where, where. Rafiki yangu James Maskofu Mulisu asifiwe Mbaito muyaseo Continue to wait upon him May he remember you May he renew your strength May you be ashamed Your enemies Have been that one there Mia ya taiwe. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Ebu munisalimia hewani hivi bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Asanteni sana. Ukisikia tukiongea ya kwamba ni mambo ni bottom up na unajua watu wengi wanachanganyikiwa, wanasumbuliwa. Hasa wanasiasa wengi. They are they don't understand either intentionally, deliberately or because they don't understand for real. Hii mambo ya bottom up. Ama mambo. Unasikia wanaangaika sana na wheelbarrow. Mime nataka nuambie. Gentlemen. Do not be consumed by the simplicity of the wheelbarrow. You must know behind the simplicity of the wheelbarrow is the revolutionary bottom up economic plan that seeks to give jobs to the jobless, yes. promote enterprise for the business community, and ensure that farming is modernized. That is the symbolism of the wheelbarrow as a basic instrument of work. So you can as well tell us the complexity of the orange, if you wish, instead of being obsessed with the simplicity of the wheelbarrow. Ama? Eh, sinu namna yo? Eh, kwa sababu tunasema, hii wheelbarrow munaona ni kwa sababu tunasema tunataka kuanza chini. Maali yule ambaye hana kazi, Pa, kwanza tumpangie kazi vile atapata na yule biashara yake ni ndogo kwanza tuanze na hiyo ndogo tumpangie vile hiyo biashara tutaikuza na yule mkulima ambaye hana uwezo huyo tuanze hapo kwanza mahali padogo kama hiyo wilbaro lakini nyinyi pia mnaweza kutueleza mambo yenu ya hii umbrella mnataka ikae namna gani Na hiyo ingine muko nae na chungwa, mutueleze ni namna gani. Na wale wako na simba, mutuambie hii simba inakana namna gani. Na wale wandovu na inge mambo ingine, watueleze mambo yao. Ama namna gani. Tuwaja kusumbuana. Tunasumbuana nini? <laughs> they are fighting the bottom up economic model because the big four agenda was premised or was anchored on the bottom-up economic model. If you look at food security and agro-processing, it is premised on the bottom-up economic model. Manufacturing right from cottage industries, the housing agenda was all premised on the big four agenda to transform Kenya, create jobs, and create wealth for the ordinary Kenyans. The reason they fight the bottom-up agenda the only reason, Your Excellency, why they deliberately sabotaged the Big Four agenda was because it was going to empower the masses and the hustler nation. Na hawataki siku wewe ukiwa mwananchi wa kawaida utakuwa empowered. Sababu wanataka wakubebe kwa chombo 
ambacho ni chama cha kikabila ili wao peke yao wao ndio wanaweza kaa kwa meza kuongea mambo ya nchi na venye wataendelea kupata mali na wewe uendelee kuwa mtumwa kwa sababu ya wataki kuona yule mtu ambaye anaelewa na shida za wakenya yule mtu ambaye baba yake hajakuwa kitu yule mtu ambaye alikuwa dhamiriwe na kutazamiwa kuongoza taifa letu ameingia barabara ya kuongoza ndio unaona wote wanapika kelele wanaume nane wanakusanyika kupika mwanaume mmoja na si tunajua Mungu anasema watakukuia na njia moja lakini wakiondoka itakuwa saba Naibu wa Rais ameweka rekodi katika taifa letu. Mimi nakwambia we umetumwa na Mungu na umesaidia hata watu wengine kuokoka. Maisha yangu sijaona Raila mbele ya madhambao akipiga magoti ya ombewe. Ni safari hii baada ya we kumsukuma na Ukristo mpaka anauliza huyu Ruto hii nguvu anatoa wapi? Anaambiwa na watu wake kanisani wacha niende nikaombewe. Lakini kuna mikakati ambao amesahau. Lakini kama Mungu amekutumia tinga akaokoka, hewala, wacha iendelee. <laughs> Walikuwa wanaona ukisema uchumi kuanzia chini kwenda juu, uchumi ambao ni wa mahasla, wanasema hakuna hasla inaweza kuendesha inji hii. Leo Raila anaongea mambo ya hasla. Kalonzo anaombea mambo, anaongea mambo ya hasla. Mundavadi anaongea kifika mbele anasema asla lakini uchumi yote ni kitu kimoja sasa wamefuata barabara yako kuna watu ambao atuelewi ya kwamba ni wafanya biashara ndogo ndogo na wafasi kuwa wafanya biashara ndogo ndogo kwa sababu hawana namna and this bottom up economic model ndiye itawasaidia i want to give an example kijana amesomeshwa university ame graduate na bachelor ya medicine That young man not unless aende apewe kazi hospitali na mtu aandikwe mshahara ya 1000 aise jisaidia maishani mwake bwana asifiwe so if this young man through the bottom up uh, economic model we could get a way of uh, funding this young man to use his skills and start a new business start a new hospital start a new dispensary and employ other people That young man within 10 years he'll be in a position to pay back the loan he got from the government and also create his own job and also create employment for other people. So even the educated even the middle class will benefit from the bottom up economic model. Actually the middle class will benefit more than the mamambogas and the mukokoteni people guys are saying. Look at somebody like Uh, a dentist a dentist who has just graduated from the university what do you tell him to do if he doesn't get a job from an hospital the guy will just be loitering in the streets but if the guy graduated from from the university and had a way of being assisted by the government walk to a place where he can get be helped to get a room the necessary equipment to start a dental clinic Because we have so many people with dental issues the guy within five years he'll be in a position to pay back whatever support whatever grant he had been given he will have created his own business and he'll have employed more people apart from being employed the guy will have created employment instead of being employed so to me the middle class the educated people we will benefit more from the bottom up economic model more than even the mabamboga we are talking of today yes, yes, yes. hanging out with my main man Peter Nzeki and on this Peter Nzeki TV how are you guys doing you want celeb news you want government news you want breaking news there's only one place to get it Peter Nzeki news subscribe subscribe let's take it to the next level Peter Nzeki to the world quite media tafadhali quite media